What is up, Utah fans? And today, we are going to be looking at some atrocious takes on Twitter. We have some Oregon takes in there, some BYU takes in there, and we're going to be reacting to them. So let's get right into it. Starting off hot with some Oregon takes. With Utah knocking Oregon out of the college football playoff, the Ducks will naturally beat the Utes in the Pac-12 championship game every damn year. Well, not not exactly. It didn't exactly play out that way. <laughs> I mean, I understand the sentiment here, but I don't know. It's weird to me to think that because you lost to a team, now you actually have a higher chance of beating them. I've just never really understood that argument. Okay, guys, this is an interesting one for a few reasons. I'm just laughing immediately, so I'll read it first. All right, y'all, this is undoubtedly a loaded question. In the event that BYU and Utah were facing off this season, obviously they aren't because of Florida and Notre Dame, which are excellent opportunities on a national stage for both programs, who would win and what would be the final score? So it looks like 87% of people went with BYU would win this year, so this upcoming season, 2022. And see, this is not this is pretty funny because it's just like, Obviously, Utah's the better team. I mean, BYU lost to UAB in their bowl game, and they weren't, they're not even ranked in the top 25 to start this year. So I don't know why people believe this. But <laughs> it's this comment thread. 89% of people are up in the night, RN. Why would anyone think Utah would win this game? They are essentially the same teams. Not true, but then I'm not sure what this comment. Wouldn't that lead you to believe they'd just tie then? And then this guy, Brady Taylor, one has the Lord on their side. He's obviously referring to BYU. <laughs> I just... Uh, it's funny. Just BYU fans, you can't ever beat them. Returning talent is the dumbest stat in sports. People really think a Pac-12 team, Utah, that went 10-4 and last year is a dark horse college football, can college football playoff candidate because it's returning talent. That same team returns players who lost against BYU, San Diego State, and Oregon State. Do not want to hear it. It was hard for me to even read that tweet. Returning talent is the dumbest stat in sports. That's quite the statement to start off with there. It's just, and then he goes on to say, their greatest accomplishment is almost beating the worst Ohio State team we've seen in a decade. So first off, he thinks returning talent is the dumbest stat in sports. And then he thinks our greatest accomplishment is almost beating Ohio State. I mean, we did win the Pac-12 championship. I don't know if you forgot about that. And then, I don't know. It's just very confusing. Returning talent is the dumbest stat in sports. What are you talking about, man? This is a tweet that was going around a couple months ago. It basically just shows that Utah had f not not Utah. Sorry, that BYU had five Pac-12 wins, and it says I say BYU was Pac-12 champions last year. Well, let's look what five Pac-12 wins gets you. Behind Oregon, Washington, tied with Oregon State, behind Utah, UCLA, Arizona State. So that puts you at one, two, three, four, five, six. That puts you at seventh in the pack. Congratulations on those five wins. Okay, this one is atrocious. This dude, Big Game Boomer, he's been known to... He, he loves BYU and he hates Utah. All of his tweets reflect that. He, he cannot be objective about anything here. He has Utah It's as the 18th worst traveling fan base in all of college football. Are you kidding me? Utah fans literally traveled to the Pac-12 championship and sold that place out. It was like, I was there. It was 85, 85% to 15% Utah for Oregon fans. And we traveled to the Rose Bowl and sold that thing out as well with like 70% Utah fans. So I just do not understand this take at all. It's just very confusing to me if you ever... If you even know anything about college football. There's a lot to unpack here with this one. So basically, this user put out a map of the best Division I college football teams by state. He goes with University of Utah for the state of Utah, which I agree with. Then this, this special Twitter user, BYU Florida, he comes in here with this fire take. It says, Utah State, Mountain Western Conference champions. True. Utah, Pac-12 champions. True. BYU beat both of them. This makes sense. Lol. So he's basically trying to say, since BYU beat them head-to-head, -head, they're the best team in the state. This guy comes in with the facts, but lost to UAB. Says, Utah lost to Oregon State, which is worse. I highly disagree with that. <laughs> highly. UAB canceled their football program a few years ago, and is just barely now starting up. Like, that's how bad they are. And then BYU heavily injured and missing most starters, barely lost to UAB. Imagine saying you barely lost to UAB and trying to justify that. So that's just, that's, that's craziness, honestly. 
Uh, this this is one that's been going around recently. It's from an account called Corm of the Big 12, so there's some problems immediately with the trustworthiness of this account. I think we know what team they're rooting for. I don't know who needs to hear this, but Utah State was the second best football team in the state of Utah last year. So you're so obviously what they're implying here is that it goes BYU, Utah State, Utah. I just how how is BYU who played in the Radiance Technologies Bowl better than Pac-12 champions Utah who played in the Rose Bowl and Mountain West Conference champions Utah State? It just doesn't make much sense to me. Like really? Like they you think that Utah was the third best team in the state last year? Come on, man. Thank you so much to anyone who took the time to watch and please comment down below some of the worst takes you've heard or what you thought of this video. I'm going to be trying to put out more content soon and I hope you all enjoyed.